So today I'm going to see if I can learn to do the 2 by 2 blindfolded. Um, I've been able to do this, this one blindfolded a, a few months ago. Um, so again I'm going to refer to Jay Perm's videos on the Rubik's Cube and see how long it takes me. Hopefully I can get this done quickly because theoretically this should be a bit tougher. And stopwatch, let's go. So I'm gonna go through JPIM's tutorial quickly and see what I can do with it. So from the, the start, I can see that it's a very similar technique to the three by three, where he has started with moving this piece, this sticker to that sticker by a lengthy algorithm and it only moves those two. So I think he's got the same concept where we use a buffer, um, getting everything into the right position, memorizing where it's supposed to be and then swapping it between corners and since since this is only a two by two i don't need the middle sticker algorithm it seems which makes this a lot easier i think so i think this is theoretically that red needs to swap with that white quickly so let's go. Okay, so there's the red, there's the white, so it was a swap. You can see all the other pieces have remained or stickers have remained where they're supposed to um, and this is basically a buffer so I think it's very similar at least so I'm just going to put it back Okay, so it's back to normal. Let's carry on. Okay, so labeling this is A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X. Hmm. That's the same as the three by three. A, B, C, D. Okay. So if I could remember the number, the letters, theoretically, I could give this a, a go. Um, I think I just have to work out because this is not to, basically, I know that that all those pieces have to go to that side, but um, this does not have a center piece. So if I swap them, but okay. So now I've got to decide which is where, so I can go white, green, so let's see, I think uh, that will be fine. And now I've got to place, place them like I did in the 3x3. Three three. So 
So it needs to be a G. Good luck. Okay. Um, I need something to put over my face. A trusty old hat. So, if I can do this. SDVVW GL. Cool. So that was a four minute solve. Um, yeah, and doing the, I must say, this helps a lot in terms of getting a technique right for this because it's actually just exactly the same method besides taking the middle algorithm and also the parity algorithm out of it. So that's the first time I've attempted to do the two by two blindfolded and it worked, which I'm very surprised at, but yeah, I, I thought I actually messed it up in the beginning and then uh, got a bit confused, but I got it right. So this is very cool. Um, yeah, thanks for watching and uh, see you again. <laughs>